Hello everyone, my name is Vanessa Sermon and welcome back for more Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. Last time on Chris's journey, we ventured through Mount Mortar, a completely optional area, but one that we still had not gone through yet, so... Yeah, we ventured through there. In this part, we're back in Sinewood City here because... A few videos back, when we were in Pewter City, I believe, we ended up getting... A... We ended up getting... A Silver Wing. This is a very important item. You get this from a guy in Pewter City. And... Yeah, it's important because... It has some... Thing that we can do in the Whirl Islands. You may remember the Whirl Islands earlier on? Around Route 41 here? We never really explored... Well, we did explore this area looking for our good old friend Luca, but we never really explored these islands in too much depth, and there's a lot to them. In fact, I'm really not sure... I'm even gonna find the thing that I wanted to find here. We can get rid of that there, and over here... Here, there's a cave entrance. I really wish I bought super repels, but... Oh well. I've mentioned it this a bunch of times before, especially when, like, we caught Luca earlier in the LP. I need Flash for this, seriously? Ah, shoot. Uh, do I have anything on my team that can even learn this here? Uh, shoot, I forgot this was even a thing I needed here. <sighs> Wonder's the only thing on my team that can learn it. Uh, be right back when I get something that has that. Really, Typhlosion can't learn that, seriously? Even with the big flames it has on his back, yet freaking Victory Bell can learn it, for God's sake. Alright, I can't believe we had to bring out our old level 7 Bellsprout here that we've used all that time ago for that, but... Yeah, this is the Whirl Islands, a place that I do not remember at all. It is... a large, I think, series of caves? I hope I didn't need... I just deposited Teddy for that. Are you kidding me here? Gyarados, I know you can learn this. Scyther can also learn that. That would actually be pretty good on Scizor, not gonna lie, but... I have this Gyarados in here for HM purposes, so... Let's just give it a Dragon Rage for that. At the very least, Gyarados can make a really good HM user if you need one for that. Hope I don't need Rock Smash after this, because I definitely taught that to Ursaring. This is an area I already was at. And... I meant to be on the other side of this, so... I will be using my bicycle to kind of traverse this place, because... It's kind of big and imposing here. Okay. There's an item up here. Which I can freely get. It's a calcium. I'm not gonna bother with that. I mean, half my team is not really in here anyway. And at level 60, I don't think we're gonna be needing them t vitamins too much more. Uh, this is... Another way out. Okay, so that's not where I want to be. Yeah, I think there's like four parts of the World Islands in this area. It's This is a huge route. I mean, we spent a whole video on it before because I wanted to catch... One of my main party members on this area, but... This route's just still huge. It's a humongous route here. Yeah, let's 
let's use that whirlpool there. Okay, so I think I'm on like the right side of this here. I think if we keep going up, there's more whirlpools up this way. Uh, I don't think I've gone this one here yet, so let's head this way. Is in fact another cave here. I kind of hate these sections where I need to use surf for one square that's kind of on the annoying side. Bellsprout, use your flash ability here. What do we got? A cave with more items here. I mean, this is the same spot as before. Seems like it's gonna be like Mount Mortar where there was just a whole mess of, like, vitamin items, which we don't really need right this second here. Okay, I can really climb up on this hill again. Four Sore, I'll gladly take that. I don't know if I want to jump down that ramp there. Uh, it looks like I can. Where will this lead? To my repel wearing off again. Where is this? It is an Ultra Ball, which I'm definitely going to need here in a very short amount of time. Nothing up this way, and that's probably not a way I want to go. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, wait, no, never mind. I'm back in this area here. Okay, what was in this southern part of this room here? Repel wearing off. That's definitely what I wanted there. <clears throat> uh, ladder going down here. Max Elixir. I wanted that item there. Full Restore, and I need to have Waterfall, apparently. I guess I'm not too surprised by that. There's also a cave there, too. How do I reach that now? Shoot, this isn't where I wanted to be at all. Uh, I'm gonna actually use one of those escape ropes, because that would take me closer to the start of this area here. I have, yeah, I have like three of these here. This should take me back to the way I came this way. There's one more path in these caves that I haven't gone in yet. Repel here. Knowing my luck, I'd probably run into... A lot more Mantine if I actually didn't have that up there, but... I hope this is the way we can go here, I mean... Oh no... Okay, this looks different here. I think. I hope I didn't just go in a giant circle there, I don't... ...think I did. No, this is different. Oh, shoot. Where in the world am I now? Okay, I think I want to go this down path here. No, this is the... <sighs> this is the path I went already. Shouldn't be using, expending this many escape ropes here, but... Those, I can always stock up for more of those. Okay, this top path leads me where? Up 
here. Okay, this looks new. Yes, this is something new here. Okay, since we're in a room with a bunch of water here... Can you surf here? Uh, okay, that's just a wall. I thought that was actual ground I could build there. Here... Can head down the waterfall. And I think it's through this cave here. Of course, my rappel had to wear off there. I believe this is not the escape rope. I believe this is the thing we came all this way for. If you start to surf. There's a birdie in the water. Uh, who do I want to lead with? I. I'm gonna try leading with, uh, Wonder here. I don't... I feel like Wonder being, like, 20 levels... Or, I don't know how big, level, high level this thing actually is. I'm still gonna try leading it in with it and trying to hit it with the Sun Spore here, but... Here we go! And we don't even get a proper Legendary theme in this game, seriously. Lugia is level 60. This is gonna be rough. I'm totally gonna be hit with a. Oh yeah, I taught Lu I taught Wonder how to use Toxic instead of uh, Poison Powder because Toxic is just that much better of a move. You're opening with Rain Dance. That's fine by me there. Oh come on! Yes, keep using that. There we go. That's what I wanted to hit it with there. Um, I'm gonna try the Sludge Bomb on it here. This should do respectable damage, but I don't think this is gonna KO it, considering we're the same level here. No, that's good. That's pretty good damage there. Um, I'll hit- try it with one more here, and hope I don't get, like, a crit on this thing here. Okay, nice, nice. <clears throat> so, I believe Lugia only shows up if you have the silver wing- the- yeah, the silver wing in your bag. So... Yeah. It's also a little weird looking at this here. Um, it's a lot more dangerous in silver version, because in that it knows its signature move, Aeroblast, even though it's only level 40 in that. Uh, in this game, it's it's different levels in every game it's in, actually, which is kind of funny. In Gold, it's level 70 and knows Recover, Hydro Pump, Rain Dance, and Swift. Uh, that Recover, actually, I just realized is going to get very obnoxious here very fast. Um, I'm just going to start chucking some Ultra Balls here. Uh, in Silver, it's only level 40, but it knows Aeroblast, Gust, Safeguard, and Recover. And in this game, it's level 60, and those Gust Recover, Hydro Pump, and Rain Dance. I kind of forgot this guy knew Recover. That's going to make things a little bit more obnoxious. Though I remember catching this thing in a Pokeball in Silver Version for some reason way back when I was younger. I'm not really sure why, but I did. I do like this, like, paralysis hijinks here, though, that we got going on. And I think if it's paralyzed, it also doesn't contribute to struggle, I think, as well, which is always the annoying thing when catching legendaries. Whenever they run out of PP. Like I said, though, this is going to be infinitely better than trying to catch the freaking Legendary Beasts, even if this thing does know some super effective attacks. It's a little weird using a Victory Bell against something that's, like, good against both its types here, but 
Thankfully, for some reason, it doesn't- it just doesn't know any psychic moves in this game, for whatever reason. I'm thinking... Yeah, in Soul Silver version. Not in Heart Gold, but in Soul Silver, it does know a psychic move, so... That could be kind of deadly if it uses that. And in Heart Soul Silver, they actually give both Lugia and Ho their own unique battle themes, which is pretty neat. There's the recover. That's not what I wanted to see there. Okay, that recovered way more than I wanted it to. What the heck? Hopefully I can hit it with this again, but still... Mm-hmm. I could maybe go for the Razor Leaf there. It definitely would tank that, because it's flying type, but... Again. It's doing a lot of damage with that Hydro Pump there. I'm gonna try the Razor Leaf there. This isn't gonna do too much damage here, I don't think. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, crap. I'm probably not living this. That's for effective damage. Uh, unfortunately not. Sorry, Wonder. You did good paralyzing that. Uh, yeah, let's go to... Luca, I guess. Scizor is unfortunately probably not going to be that useful here, because uh, it's probably out of Hydro Pumps na by now, I would think, but... I don't know, it's probably not able to really hurt Luca all that much here. Gust might do some damage because it's physical, but yeah, not that much. I'm just not sure how much an Ice Beam would do. Like, if I have to use Ice Beam here, I don't know how much that'll do. I guess I could probably hit it with Surf also, like, if it uses Recover there. Yeah, that was a crit Hydro Pump, and we just tanked that. <laughs> oh, I love you, Luca. Feels great to use a Mantine after all these years, you know, just, like... Mantine Overboard was always one of my favorite episodes of the show, and... Getting to use it in this playthrough, I felt like it was only fitting, you know? I'm gonna try the Ice Beam and see... Uh, what should I do here? I hope an Ice Beam doesn't KO it. I don't think it will, but I'll see anyway. It is super effective, and it's a very strong attack. Yeah, okay. That's fair enough there. Um... I don't know if I want to trust another one there. I'm just going to go for Wing Attack here. This is not going to do very much, I don't think. Okay, that's what I wanted. Critical right when I wanted that. Sure, we'll, t we'll live with that. And... Of course they're going for that. I'm gonna take a chance and use Surf here. With the Rain and Mystic Water, that could be a very deadly ability thing to use there, plus Stab on this, but it's also not super effective, so I don't think this should do too much. I think it might do a smidge more than Ice Beam would, though. Uh, yeah, that's about what I expected there. About, about on par with Ice Beam, I'd say. Scizor could take Gust, but it definitely won't take a Hydro Pump very well. I have Crobat in this as well, like, I can use Crobat to stall some damage, I guess, but... Yeah, Lugia is really specially bulky. It has a lot of special defense on it, so... Even though Ice Beam's super effective, it's still not doing that much damage. Perfect! That is the damage I want to see on you there.
This is why I bought all these Ultra Balls. Not for Raikou and Entei, but... Because we have two Legendaries to catch tonight. It's... <laughs> gonna be a while yet. And of course you would freaking use Recover. It's such a random thing to bring up, but I remember, like... My first time seeing Lugia was actually in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Now, I always remember seeing the trophy of it, because I probably found the trophy before I ever found it in, like, a Pokeball spawn in that game, and, like, I always remember thinking, like, the name was just so similar to Luigi, that's always what I thought of when I first saw this Pokemon, and apparently some people have that same story, I've talked to a few people that have thought similar things to that, which is just kind of funny. Yeah, okay, Gus has 35 PP, which is actually pretty good. Apparently, Recover only has five uses, so... I feel like we've probably seen our fifth Recover by this point, but... Oh no, Recover has 20 PP in Gen... Up to Gen... Never mind. I... Don't know what I was thinking with that. Oh, this is... Annoying! <laughs> okay, you're probably all out of Hydro Pumps now, um... <sighs> this is where I really wish I still had False Swipe on Scizor right about now. Gust shouldn't do a whole lot of damage. It is neutral, but, like, Scizor has a lot of physical defense, so... Probably a risky move going for Steel Wing, which is, like, one of my strongest attacks, but... I don't think... Yeah, okay, I had a feeling I could still... Hmm. That's a crit! Come on, game! Ah. Meet you guys in a minute. I don't want crits! very much. We caught Lugia. Not really anything too dramatic change about my strategy there. Um, the diving Pokemon has an incredible ability to calm raging storms. It said that Lugia appears when storms start. Um, I guess in a strange roundabout way, I guess it could give me a chance to kind of talk about, like, you know... I don't know. In addition, I guess, to Mantine Overboard, which I mentioned several times in this LP, including in this video, I also really do like the episode, uh, the trilogy of episodes that featured the baby Lugia and the adult Lugia. I think those are, like, honestly some of the best episodes of the entire show, and I'm standing by that. Um, basically in that, there was, like, well, there's a baby Lugia that the gang encounter and Team Rocket obviously wants to get their hands on them and it's it's just a really great episode because it brings uh, Richie back from the Kanto League and um, as well as Luca as well which is awesome in of, in of herself just to bring one of my favorite characters back and have her not be just a character of the day thing but yeah it's it's not just one episode, it's actually three. It's like a whole trilogy that you pretty much have to, like, binge all three, because they tell, like, the story in one just... It's such an epic trilogy. I can't really say much more beyond that other than, like, you know... It's a showdown between all the forces of Team Rocket, Ash and his friends, and... 
trying to rescue a baby Lugia, and... Yeah, it's just an awesome episode in, like, every which way. But, yep, we caught ourselves a Lugia now. Pretty great Pokemon, all things considered. Pretty great Pokemon. Next time... We are going to... Actually, we're going to change our team up quite a bit. Uh, Gyarados, I don't need you. Uh, this Bellsprout I definitely don't need, and... Uh, Scizor, I don't need you for anything either here. Uh, we're going to be heading off to a new spot here in... Ecrotique, but I'm gonna need all the beasts for this one. So Raikou, Entei, and Suicune, come to the party. And we'll prepare for that next time. On Let's Play Pokemon Crystal, we're gonna go after the other Gen 2 box legendary. I'll see you guys for that then. Have yourselves a great day, and peace out.